Well, here we are, Wyoming. Flew out yesterday. We got here at what 12:30 last night at camp, and uh, I said I'm going to hunt in the morning. And I'd already hunted this ridge for five, six days the last trip. So I drove up here before daylight. It took me about an hour and a half. And uh, there was a water hole down over this ridge with Todd seen maybe this one, seen a big one. And uh, I had hunted this ridge and seen some deer on it. Nothing this big. He was a, he was a decent buck. And I said, well, I'll hunt, hunt into the wind. I checked the wind when I parked. And I said, it's perfect to hunt that ridge. So I started sneaking up this ridge. And you can see it's so that old burn in here. And uh, I don't know, I hunted like a mile, hadn't seen a thing. And just over this ridge, I come onto a really nice elk just standing there. I think he'd been down to that water hole I seen his tracks. And uh, he didn't really run off. He, he saw me and then he, he just kind of wandered off a little bit there. And elk season don't open for two more weeks for us. So up here, so I'm working my way up this ridge and I see a just a shape of a body a little bit. Pulled my binoculars up and I could, I could tell it was a mule deer. I said, geez, he looks pretty big, big body on him. So I watched him a few minutes, pretty soon he picked his head up. And I said, geez, he's pretty good. I said, why did, he's not heavy, but he's wide. And he says, he got beef forks. So uh, I watched him for a while. Sometimes the bat slid up this time of year, so I said, maybe that bigger one's with him that I saw there a month ago. And then I finally determined he was all alone, so I said, I better shoot him. I said, I only got one more day to hunt mule deer, so I don't want to be too fussy here. <laughs> so I shot him, and he's actually a little better than I thought he was. I got up, and uh, first shot, he was walking away, so I had to do a Texas hot shot on him, and the next one I... I shot him in the neck here, about a hundred yards, and finished him off. But yeah, he's he's a big boy, nice deer. Pretty happy with him. Best one I've killed out here so far. Do it yourself. Hiked in about a mile, mile and a half. But luckily, there's a road right down the hill here, about three hundred yards. So we're gonna drag him out whole. That's it. Toodaloo.